wasn't particularly handsome. He wasn't particularly strong. He had an, a, a, an old wife, not wife, an old aunt that he had to support. He was too stupid to realize the most beautiful girl in the world lived next door to him. <laughs> yeah, I had fun with Peter okay. Parker. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Next question. All right. First off, Mr. Stanley, I would like to thank you for come visit, coming visit us in New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, you should be grateful. <laughs> you most certainly are. Uh, my question is, what is your favorite thing about visiting New Orleans, Louisiana? The city or the state? What's your favorite thing here? What's your favorite, what's your favorite thing? The city or the state? New Orleans. I think the people's attitude. Everybody is so cheerful. Yeah. You can tell a city by the people. The people in New Orleans are just happy, hardworking, interested in what they do. They're just a pleasure to be with. And I wish New Orleans was closer to Los Angeles. My question is, uh, what is your favorite cameo that you've done? And did they mean anything in the Marvel Universe? I don't know that any of them mean anything. <laughs> I know they're like a step apart from the universe, but my favorite one was the one where I'm standing with Thor and he's having yes. a drink and I ask him for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me, he says it's too strong for me. <laughs> well, you can tell how rugged I am. I said, I can drink it. <laughs> so he gives it to me. And in the next scene, they're carrying me out. <laughs> now, the reason that's my favorite cameo, if you think about it, it's the only one that had two scenes. <laughs> <laughs> to three scenes, <laughs> four scenes, maybe one day I'll really be in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My question is, is um, what Marvel character is the most reflective of you? Well, let's see. I have the power of Thor. <laughs> I have the sophistication of Iron Man. <laughs> I have the enthusiasm of Peter Parker. Yeah. Who's the best looking one? <laughs> They're all a little bit of me because I made the damn things up. I like to see Happy Mardi Gras. Thank you. Is it Mardi Gras? I like it here. I'm hoping so. <laughs> I was wondering, um, wondering what truly inspired you to start making the comics and why you wanted to do it. Like, what happened in your life that made you decide, I'm going to do this? Oh, he's right. I could have been one of the world's greatest nuclear physicists. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. I got into comics by accident. He's got, he's got Hulk. 
There was a job open at this comic book publisher that needed an assistant. Just somebody to erase the pages and go down and get coffee for the artists when they were thirsty. I was only about 16. I applied for the job and I got it. I stayed there in the sinks and it became interesting. I saw how they wrote the comics. And I said to myself, oh, I could write them better than that. <laughs> so I wrote them better than that. <laughs> In my age, you can...